The Ukrainian Armed Forces operation on Russian territory could potentially extend into the Russian Belgorod region given that it is a matter of security for residents in the border area with Ukraine. However, this will depend on the strategic plans of the Ukrainian military leadership. In a comment to RBC Ukraine, Ukrainian military expert Vladislav Seleznov explains whether the Ukrainian offensive in the Belgorod region is possible and how many Russian troops are stationed there. The interlocutor reminded that in the past, there have been multiple raids in the Belgorod region conducted by groups like the Russian Volunteer Corps, the Freedom of Russia Legion and other battalions. According to him, what happened once could very well happen again. I don't know General Sirsky's plans, but I'm confident that what we saw in the Kursk region is just one stage in the effort to create a security zone. The same sanitary zone that Putin once dreamed of is now being established by the Ukrainian Defense Forces, said Zeleznov. In his opinion, it is already evident that a certain security space is forming in the border area of Sumy. Although artillery shells and rockets continue to arrive in large numbers, the amount of artillery shells and mortar rounds has decreased. The expert noted that the larger the area of control by the Ukrainian army in the Kursk region, the safer the conditions for residents of Sumy will be. Could such a scenario occur in the Belgorod region? Quite possibly. It should not be ruled out for obvious reasons. Creating a security space is not just General Sirsky's desire to demonstrate his effectiveness. It is a matter of security for the residents of our border area, says Zeleznov. The expert also does not rule out a similar scenario for the Bryansk region in Russia. This is really important. If it is impossible to negotiate with the enemy, if the enemy continues to kill the civilian population of our country, then we must find ways to neutralize the enemy and create a security perimeter for our citizens in the border areas, says Zeleznov. The interlocutor suggests that the Russian military grouping in the Bryansk region may amount to up to 20,000, probably even less. He notes that the enemy has quite seriously prepared engineering fortifications there as the Russian forces began constructing them in the region after the first raid by the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Freedom of Russia Legion. The residents of our Chernihiv region constantly suffer from enemy actions by sabotage and reconnaissance groups and shelling. This problem needs to be addressed somehow. Will it be resolved by crossing the border and attacking directly from Ukrainian territory into the Bryansk region? Of course, I don't know, said Zeleznov. He believes it would be advisable to create the necessary capabilities for Ukrainian forces in this manner. However, it must be understood that creating a sanitary zone in the Kursk region could likely expand to the Bryansk and Belgorod regions the interlocutor emphasizes. The expert explains that much depends on how quickly the enemy can move enough resources to block the Ukrainian foothold in the Kursk region. In this context, the expert reminded that the enemy is currently using supplementary resources. The only thing is that the Russian army is pulling forces into the Kursk region from Kherson, Zaporizhia and the north of Kharkiv. However, they have not withdrawn their resources from eastern Ukraine and continue to primarily attack in the Pokrovsk direction. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a bridge over the Sym River in the Glushkovsky district of Russia's Kursk region, Telegram channels reported on Friday. Part of the Glushkovsky district that includes Tyatkino, Popovo Lazachi, Volfino, and about 27 other settlements, is now cut off following the attack. According to reports, one of the bridge spans has been destroyed after a strike from Himars, high mobility artillery rocket system provided to Ukraine as part of military aid to Ukraine. Ukrainian troops are reportedly planning to seize the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. The evacuation of civilians is possible only by water. Roman Alakin, advisor to the acting governor of the Kursk region, has confirmed reports about the destruction of the bridge. It should be noted that in the Glushkovsky district of the region, logistic supplies for Russian troops are transported through the only road passing through this bridge. The destruction of the bridge is believed to significantly worsen the logistics of Russian troops in this area. According to local residents, Ukrainian troops have also attacked a bridge in the village of Zvanoy. Meanwhile, according to some reports, 700 Russian soldiers have been encircled in the area.
Ja, 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 